Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a do-it-yourself project and if you haven't noticed, I have this frame right here and I did this and if you wanna learn how I did it and how to do it, then just keep on watching. So first, you're going to need a canvas and this is an 11 by 14 size. Um, I got this out of the internet and I just printed it. You're gonna need some uh, painter's tape or blue tape or some tape that doesn't affect the texture of the canvas. Some acrylic paint. Um, you can choose the color that you prefer. I chose coral. And um, you need some yarn. These are from Hobby Lobby, they're $4.29. And this is the Yarn B brand. And it's like a mint. Uh, and strawberry pattern. You're going to also need the needle point tapestry needles. Um, I prefer these because the opening is bigger for the needle and it fits the yarn better. Also, you don't need this. You can use the holes with the needle, but I happen to have this. This is from the pumpkin carving set from Halloween and I kept it and it's good for what I want to do right now so I have it on the side just in case. Um, I'm going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to use this foamy one but you can use any one of your preference. doesn't really matter. And then also just some plastic where I can put the paint and work with. And that is it for materials that you're going to need so let's get started. So I want to put it in the center, but this edge with this edge, not in the center like this, but in the center that it creates a straight line from corner to corner. And it'll look like this. Try to paint using the same stroking motion so that the texture is all evenly incorporated. Now that we have finished this part, you want to paint around it so that when you hang it, there's color here too. You can go ahead and leave it right here or you can do a second coat. I want it to be a little bit more coated so I'm going to give it a second coat. Now we're just going to let it dry for a few minutes. Okay, once it's dry, we're going to place the image wherever you want to put it. You could corner it, you could center it, you could put it higher. This is completely up to you. I want to do it right in the center. So I'm going to grab the painter's tape once again. And I'm just going to slightly secure the corners so that this doesn't move around. And now, with a small but thick, this is what it looks like. It's just something that you can poke through. And basically, what you want to do now is poke holes, outlining the image. Make sure that you did all of the outline. So it should look something like this. And now 
leave the image nearby so that you can, if you get lost, you know what comes next, like the next step. So you can put it to the side for a guideline. And now we're going to continue. I'm going to start right here and continue do this whole face in white and that's going to be my first face. So this is what it should look like once you're done with the white thread. And now I'm going to swap colors and I'm going to take this uh, little peach coral, coral toned uh, yarn and I'm going to do the white area of the canvas in that shape to contrast. For the most part, this is what it will finally look like. <laughs> 